Bigger. This is Orb and welcome back to another episode of Checkpoint. We're back sitting back relaxing in the awesome couch as we always do when we're gonna analyze the map and uh, we're actually gonna switch games. We've been covering four episodes of Call of Duty Black Ops and it's time to move on. So Crisis 2 Skyline coming up and I actually enjoy playing this game so much and I have a lot of tips and tricks to share with you guys. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's jump straight over to the preparation section for this map. Have the scar as the primary weapon a really really good weapon i would go as far as to say the best weapon in this game if you don't want to pick the scar if you don't like it for some weird reason you can of course pick an smg or another rifle instead so looking at the modules for this map the first one is armor enhanced and that is sort of a given on this map it is a close to semi close quarter map and you will encounter people almost everywhere so being able to reduce the drain speed of your energy uh, while still being in armor mode and also get that increased movement speed while in armor mode will help you out tremendously. The second module I want to recommend to you guys is Covert Ops. Being able to be a sneaky ninja on this map running around with the reduced sound of footsteps, getting the protection from the Seth airstrike bonus and also getting the advantage of hearing the enemy footsteps louder. So moving over to the third and final module for this map we have Weapon Pro and this is a big must in my opinion. Of course being able to reload fast, aim down sight faster, and also being able to switch weapons faster, please use this module. Oh, and for you guys new to this game, I just quickly want to mention the kill streak slash bonuses. The first one being maximum radar, the second one being orbital strike, and the third one being Ceph airstrike. And these are the most lethal kill streaks on this game. So if you're playing this map, if you're able to pick up the dog tags and retrieve them, of course you will be getting a lot of kills from both the Orbital Strike and the Ceph Airstrike, so look forward to that. We can see that the map is sort of divided into three sections here. The first one being the evac zone, the second one is being the garden area, and the third one is being the greenhouse area. The first one is really easy, but still very effective. Run here, jump, jump, and you are up. Easy, but still very effective. The second one is in the same genre, if you will. Effective and easy to use. Run here, jump, you are up. The third one is quite more complex. Jump up into the tower, jump up one more time, jump over, and you are over. It drains a bit more energy, but does get the job done. If you're on the roof of the center greenhouse, use run, jump, and you are up. Drains a bit more energy, as I said, but still gets the job done. The final shortcut I have for you guys is this one. Just stand right here, run, jump, and if you're close enough, you will auto climb the wall and you will get over being able to surprise a lot of people. If you're stealth, this is very, very effective. This time we're trying to get onto that roof right there. And there's two alternate routes or two different shortcuts to get up there. The first one is this, jump onto this little small roof. Once again, run, jump, you're onto that roof. And one final time and you are up there, baby. The second one you can use is kind of similar, but a lot easier in my eyes. Run and jump. Once again, you're on that roof and one more time and you're finally up. And this shortcut is really, really good just because you have a 360 angle all around the map, being able to cover a lot of different areas. You have a gunfight with somebody, you want to get out there, just run up the roof, land in this window right here, auto climb in and you are out of harm's way to live another day and just a very, very good sort of escape route to use. Another good escape route to know about is this one. If you're on the overlook area, you get in a gunfight just like this. If you want to get the hell out of there, what you want to do is head back, head just to this area, jump down here and aim for the balcony right there and get in safe and sound. <laughs> If you're playing Crash Site, if you want to get some easy kills and actually get a nice overview over the drop pod, what you can do is jump up on this ledge right here and you will have a sort of a nice overview over the crash area. However, you will not be capping the crash pod in this position, okay? Just have that in mind. So moving over to the next tip, if you want to be a bit sneaky, if you want to be a sneaky devil, you can just sit behind or actually outside the map kind of, behind the bushes and actually get a nice line of sight and I've never seen anybody except me of course use this one and this will get me at least a ton of kills and hopefully it will help you out as well. The final tip I have for you as far as this section of the map goes is sort of similar to the earlier one with the bushes. 
uh, you want to sit on the outside of the map, so to speak, outside the air vent. You can sit on the outside of those and actually get a nice line of sight and uh, also a nice overview over that area. The first one being a nice line of sight slash sort of a heads up to you guys. I want you guys to be aware of this position just because a lot of snipers like to camp at this position, like to be in stealth mode on the cloak, shoot a couple of bullets, cloak back in, and they will actually blend in pretty good with the environment around them if you're far away. Let's move over to the next one being a nice line of sight. If you're playing crash sites, what you want to do is if you have a friend covering the right side, because otherwise you will be sort of exposed, but if you have a friend covering the right side, you can actually stand behind the drop pod and look through the crack of the drop pod to actually cover that general area and also you can look up and cover uh, everybody coming from or peeking down from the overlook. So this is actually something that I don't see a lot with, but still is very very helpful. And the first one is something I want you guys to be aware of and that is a lot of people tend to sit next to this vent right here, they stealth in and aim at that staircase and that is it. The problem, however, with this spot is that it's very overused and a lot of people use it and a lot of people know about it. So try to avoid it at any cost. But if you have to take this position, perhaps you're being shot at from every other angle, there's actually a really nice line of sight over to the broken wall on the overlook. So you can actually peek through the metal bar bars right here, which in return will sort of work as a great cover for you, making you blend in with the surroundings around you. So that is actually a good spot to use if you have to, okay? If you have to. The third and final tip I have for you guys today is something that I never see and it makes me really, really sad. Aww. <laughs> you can actually cap the drop pod while being on the helipad one story up. And you will have great cover and a pretty, pretty sweet overlook over the entire area while still capping the drop pod. And this is important because you bring in uh, points towards the team. Not many people know about this and that is why it's so very good and effective at the same time. So yeah guys, that covered everything I had to say about Skyline from Crisis 2. So if you, you out there, if you have a game or a map you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below or contact me through YouTube or Twitter or anything like that. Let me know and I will see what I can do, okay guys? So stay tuned for next time, go out practice and have an awesome day guys. Bye! Game Breaker TV.